Name, Dang Matt Smith. Date, kiss my booty. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fail this class. But today we're gonna be checking out the funniest kid test answers. Say it loud, say it proud. Boy, you better get that out of here on three. One, two, three. Boy, you better get that out of here. But yeah, do me a favor and click the subscribe button. Just do it now, it's right there down below. And yeah, comment what grade you're in. Let me know. And let's go! Okay, English test. I, I mean, why do you need to be in English class? Don't you speak it? Name, Hugo. <laughs> Teacher, Sophia. You're supposed to put like Mrs. Sophia. Anyway, all you have to do, name the figures. And then we got the poop ice cream. What the heck is poop ice cream? Oh, they put and then the teacher corrected it and put, no, you dummy, it's ice cream. But now it looks like poop ice cream. <laughs> Ew, it's disgusting. Poop on three. One, two, three, poop. Okay. What belongs to you but is used by your friends more than you? Your mama? Oh, oh wait, wait, what? No. I mean, there are exactly the right amount of spaces for your mama. Whatever kid wrote this, you ain't ever gonna graduate. You gonna be in the third grade for the next five years. I wish I put this on my test and let the teacher know who's boss. I'm the boss around here. My wish is to have two quarters and three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, simpler times, my boy, simpler times. What the heck are you gonna buy with two quarters and three dollars? If you gonna ask for some money, ask for a million dollars, okay? Now, two quarters and three dollars? Name, Logan, teacher, Patel. Yo, name's Patel. <laughs> Poop and waffle, what is going? Okay, okay, see, you see? This one I would have known as ice cream. I'm like, okay, it's got the cone, it's got, you know, the color that chocolate like me this is clearly ice cream but they think it's poof wait not poof they think it's poop in a waffle cone ain't nobody gonna eat that well actually not me i'm not gonna there's people out there like like dogs will eat it okay that's what i'm talking about like dogs you weirdo i met a new friend named sarah oh Oh, you guys are trying to trigger me. We became friends because I kicked her in the face and said sorry. <laughs> uh, why the heck did you kick her in the face? Did y'all break up too? I don't know how the heck you become friends after you done kicked them in the face and then you apologized. If some girl kicks me in the face, you getting you gonna get the. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm not. I'm. I'm not making a fist. I'm like you gonna get. Uh, you gonna get. You gonna get the smoke. I'm gonna make sure that I put a weapon in your luggage next time you gotta go on a trip and then you get put in jail. <laughs> that was a little too evil of me, I'm sorry. I am family friendly. And what the heck is at the top of this test? School glue? Crayons? What am I supposed to do with glue and crayons? Do I smell them? No, 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 no. When you're older. No, uh, <clears throat> all right. What do you like most about your teacher? Bo bo boobs? Out of all the things to like about your teacher, you could have put her hair, her laugh, she's funny, but instead you put boobs? Eww, you nasty, you nasty. Shame on you, Logan. And if your name's Logan, it's your fault. Thanksgiving letter. Okay, all right. You gotta you, you gotta write a, a letter about about Thanksgiving. Some of your favorite things during that holiday. Ode to ham. You wrote a love letter about ham. You are chewy. You have the perfect amount of meat. That's what your mom said about me. <laughs> You are as soft as a pillow. You are the best in the world, Ham. I love Ham. Oh, ma. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. We're talking Thanksgiving. You should have said something about the turkey. Even though turkey meat ain't even that good. It's just, it's like all dry. I don't want no dang turkey meat. I'm right there with you. I like ham too. I get the ham at Subway, ham sandwich. You can get the Black Forest ham, glazed ham, sauteed ham. I don't think you could saute ham, but anyway. Okay, so you got the pilgrims on the right and the Indians on the left. It was not a happy time back then. I think you colored them in 
fucking wrong. You colored in the pilgrims' face when the pilgrims were white. But it was the Indians' face who's who's are they a little bit of they a little bit darker. Shame on you. Is this Logan again? This is probably Logan. Logan is lacking. I'm gonna start calling you lacking Logan. The diagram below best illustrates. All right, Lamarck's theory of evolution. This is a kid's test. I don't even know the answer to this. Darwin's theory of evolution. Malthus's principles or Lyell's. <laughs> Lyell, <laughs> your name's Lyell. Lyell's theory about past changes. They wrote in E another option and put giraffes are heartless creature. <laughs> No, giraffes are not heartless. I fed a giraffe one time. That giraffe was scary. I got up close too. That thing was like, like all, all big. This is where I went. Look at the giraffe. Look how big he is. Jeez, mm -mm, not today. But yes, I did feed the giraffe lettuce and you know, I held out the lettuce to him and they just all drooling everywhere. They might be heartless. Some kid wrote a note and left it on the toilet seat. They said, stop leaving the seat up. I have fallen in my own poop three times now? Ew. I'm glad you left a note and you know, you let people, uh, you made them aware of what has happened to you. How the heck do you fall into your own poop three times? Oh, instead of expecting everybody else to put the seat down for you, why don't you check and put the seat down yourself? You nasty. Facts about my daddy, <laughs> must be nice. My dad is one feet tall. <laughs> What? Do you know how small one feet tall is? It's literally this. If your dad is one feet tall, that means he could stand right here and, and, and be in frame. My dad weighs 15 pounds. Uh, I don't know. You might be missing a zero right there. If your dad only weighs 15 pounds, like what is he? <laughs> My dad has black hair and brown eyes. Oh, me too. My dad likes to wear pants and a blue shirt. He ain't got no style. <laughs> My daddy, ew, why, okay, why'd you put like, my dad likes to wear, and then the test put, my daddy goes to work? His job is do the computer. <laughs> What do you mean his job is do the computer? He works on a computer, is that it? My daddy's favorite TV program is Mickey Mouse. I think your dad might be a one-year-old baby. My dad likes to play dress up. Your dad's a child. My daddy's favorite restaurant is pizza. <laughs> Pizza? Pizza is not a restaurant, is it? Oh, it is? Oh, okay, well, my, my, my fault, my fault. My daddy likes to go to the store. All right, all right, that's cool. If my dad won a million dollars, he would buy corn. Who the heck is thinking about corn when you have a million dollars? Maybe that one kid that likes corn. I met him one time. Ain't nobody trying to buy corn. With a million dollars, I'm buying cars, not corn. You crazy. Love blank, yeah, you blacked out your name because you were embarrassed. <laughs> 2015. I wonder where this kid is now. Probably a millionaire with corn. I need penis. Ooh, oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Family friendly, man. Oh, they meant pennies. I need pennies. They just spelled it terribly wrong. If you have some pennies, give them to me. Because if I give some to my teacher, we will get a popcorn party. Dang, that sounds kind of good. I want some peanuts. Oh, some pennies. Or do they mean peanuts? I think they mean pennies. Yeah. Here we go. She is hurt by her friend's cruel sarcasm. Her friend's cruel sarcasm hurt. Yeah, yeah, okay. You have to rearrange the sentence to make it flow better. All right. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Easy enough. The limb hit him on the head. He was hit on the head by a limb. <laughs> Okay. Tyrone lost a dollar bill and they put, dang Tyrone, get it together. That's not the assignment, but uh, you know, cl close enough. Good job. I feel like you still got 100% on this on this uh, quiz. I don't know what's going on with these crazy kids, but uh, you know, they, they like to speak their mind and there ain't nothing wrong with that, except for lacking Logan, you lacking Logan. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.